IAP Ordering Setup Electronic ordering through IAP is a two-step process. First, we activate the IAP ordering feature, then set up the vendor record for the parts supplier the shop is going to order parts from using the IAP ordering interface. First, we need to activate the IAP online parts ordering option, so click on Setups on the menu bar and select Electronic Ordering. And to activate the IAP parts ordering option, just click in the Active column and notice the green check mark. Click Close and now we create the vendor record for our part supplier AutoZone. Click Vendors from the menu bar and select Accounts Payable Vendor List. These are all of our vendors, mostly part suppliers. Check to make sure there's not already an account started and then click the Add Vendor button in the lower left and this opens a blank vendor record. Now you will see by clicking on the links on the left there's a lot of information that goes into a vendor record but the only two pieces of information required to create a new vendor record is the company name and the vendor code. We'll enter our company name, AutoZone, and a vendor code of AZ. Please see the Add a Vendor Training video for instructions on setting up your vendor record. Now we'll just click on the Catalog link on the left, select our catalog from the drop list by clicking the down arrow, and note the entry fields changed below as there is additional information needed for setting up IAP. Enter your username and password and the additional IAP information that you'll get from your AutoZone sales representative. We also have an option to select a price matrix to apply to the parts brought into MaxTracks from the AutoZone online parts catalog. I'll select my jobber price matrix. Now let's open a repair order and here you can see we have the AutoZone online parts catalog available to order parts for our job. Click on AutoZone on the drop list and you'll be taken to the AutoZone online ordering. The year, make, model, and engine are already identified and we just select our categories, groups, and part types. Then click the parts list in the lower right corner. Check the order box next to the parts you would like to order, then click Add to Quote, again in the lower right corner, then Transfer Quote, and our parts are added to our repair order. To complete the online order, click OK Save and Save Only, tag in the Order column to order the part, click Next, let's use our RO for the purchase order, and click the Send Order button. And this concludes the lesson on IAP Ordering Setup.